there is always resistance to change. However, in Waterloo, we have a big enough team so you can recruit enough players so that we can make the change. It's not you as an individual, it's you and the team around you. And that's where we make progress. We've got team players. What's our most important resource? People. The Sustainable Waterloo Region had a vision. They wanted to have the greenest building. And the result was the first zero carbon building officially certified in Canada. Zero carbon performance improved, what's that? Profit. We don't need to wait until the law says anything else is illegal. With today's technology, today's skilled people, and today's lease rates, you'll make a profit with a zero carbon building. We shouldn't do anything else. We have to walk the talk, and here in Waterloo we understand that. If we want to teach students about the environment, we'd better have a LEED Platinum building for them to study in. We need to set the standard and have that long-term vision. Now we also have, in Europe, a certified electric plane. We've been able to be the first place in Canada to bring in this certified electric plane from Europe so that we can see how it operates under Canadian conditions and hopefully that means it will be certified in the not too distant future. The good news is we have a low carbon electrical system and that's a critical foundation to then mean you're going to have low carbon flight by using that low carbon electricity. We also put in the first 400 volt charger for it and it turns out my American colleagues have said that it's the first in North America. I was surprised by that but certainly it's the first in Canada. Now we of course hope that that network of charging facilities will grow to many other communities and we want to see that happen but Waterloo is willing to step forward and say we want to be the first on that map. Come to where you can see the changes. You want to talk about electric aviation, why not come to the airport where there actually is an electric plane? If you think it's really important to have ambitious goals, my concern is we're not going there fast enough. I'm the old guy in the room. In the 1970s, I worked on a solar and wind powered home that I thought was going to be the new normal. We have been too slow to change. We've got good ideas, we're making steps in the right direction, but I would also advocate we need to do more. We need more champions coming in. Your ideas are valuable here, we need to push harder.